Mickey, welcome back to my pal. <laughs> hey guys, it's Mickey. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new. And in today's video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a review on the LA Girl Main Stage Desert Dream Eyeshadow Palette. It's this bad boy right here. That's what I have in my eyes. So I'm not going to spoil it. So if you guys want to see what I think of this palette and what I think of LA Girl eyeshadows in general, then please keep watching. So I've already done my brows and primed my eyes. I primed my eyes with my MAC, my MAC? <laughs> Soft Ochre Paint Pot. So I'm just gonna go into the LA Girl Mainstays Desert Dream Eyeshadow Palette. So pretty, filled with like different greens, blues, and purples. I messed up these two shades by dropping the palette, so that's my fault. So I'm just gonna go ahead because I don't want it to like spill everywhere, so. We're gonna figure out how we're gonna show. So I wanna start by kind of packing in a shade into the crease. So the shade that I think I wanna pack into the crease is gonna be the shade Ferris Wheel. And I'm gonna put that in my crease. The mirror in this palette is so big and pretty too. I would hold it up to show y'all, but like you saw, I broke like two of the eyeshadows and they're falling apart everywhere, so that's my bad. <laughs> I'm gonna take my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot and cut the crease. This brush is the perfect type of brush to really cut your crease with. Okay, so I have to finish from this angle because my camera died, so don't mind it. But So next, I'm gonna go into the shade Wristband. And it's a nice, pretty, like, light blue. Oh my God. Okay, so one thing about these shadows too is that they do have a lot of fallout, but the pigment is there. So I'm gonna take that and I'm just gonna back it. Oh my God, that's so pretty. <gasps> that's such a pretty blue. Oh my God, I'm so happy I just did that. Oh my gosh. So happy I did that. Oh my gosh, wow. That is such a pretty blue. Oh my gosh. So as you see, I'm leaving space in between the crease shade and where we cut the crease and then what's on the lid because I kind of want to have that effect. But oh my gosh, this shade is so pretty. I'm sure you guys can see the fallout on my face, but these shadows are super pigmented, but this palette can get messy. Guys, I'm shocked at the shade wristband. Like, this is insane. This is like insane pigment. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. liquid liner and just line my eye. Whoa, this is very pretty together. These shades together are so pretty. 
I'm quite shocked. I was kind of scared of the palette, but I was like, she's like 15 bucks, let me try her. And now I'm really happy. I just wish I didn't ruin these shades. I literally got like so much of that um, really pretty green shade everywhere and it's just so pretty. Like I'm not even mad that it's everywhere. I'm mad that I wasted it on accident. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my skin and then I'm gonna come back and finish off the eyes with you guys, okay? Okay, hopefully the camera is back by then because this quality, we don't mess with her. We don't mess with her. Um, and this angle, we don't mess with her. But hopefully she's back by that time. If not, it's fine. But oh my god, I'm loving this look. I feel so like, I feel pretty and I feel creative. That's how I feel. I'm being quite honest. So I'll be back, guys. Well, I thought we'd be back with the camera, but we're not. But that's fine. So um, I finished my face, as you can tell. And now I'm just applying my mascara, which is my Essence Lash Princess Mascara, the false effect one. Not the waterproof, the regular absolutely love so to finish off the eyes i'm gonna go into my nyx professional makeup eyeliner it's the white one and i'm gonna take that on uh, waterline halfway so starting at the outer corner going into the center of the eye and i'm gonna take my essence lash princess 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 mascara and apply that to the lower lashes I really love this look. I'm actually so happy. So I'm gonna take um, just my favorite brown lip liner. I want. I have a zoo. They're barking at the mailman. Um, I have a zoo in my house right now, so like, don't even mind. So I'm taking my favorite brown lip liner. This one isn't on sale anymore at ColourPop, but something comparable would be BFF Four from ColourPop. And I'm going to line my lips. I'm going to take my e.l.f. Um, Camel Concealer in shade Medium Sand, but this one's like empty. So I like to take what's remaining and apply that to the center of the lips. And it makes the perfect mood for me. And then I'm gonna go into the center with my KKW Beauty lipstick in shade Nude One. Okay, and then I'm going to lastly just add my ColourPop Luxe Lip Gloss in shade Electric. I think this is from like their, one of their newer collections. I absolutely love it. All right, and lastly, I'm gonna go ahead and set the skin with my Cover FX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Oh, this setting spray is just so good. All right, and that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love it. I really like this palette. I don't know if I've used any LA Girl palettes before. Um, I have the concealer that I've been using again recently, and I always cream contour with their concealer, which I love. Um, this palette I do love. It has some beautiful shades, as you can see on my eyes. Like, I literally have purple and blue, and it just looks so good. The undertones are great in this palette. Um, a downfall is that there's a lot of fallout. So, normally, I expect fallout. But, like, the fallout that came out when I was using this shade, um, I was just like, that's excessive. But I don't mind it. So I would recommend if you use, you're using this palette, I'd put it like on a little towel or like on a makeup wipe, whatever, paper towel, boom, and you're good because you don't want to get it everywhere. But um, I think it's worth that. Um, I'm going to use this because 
this blue is something I've been looking for for a while and I didn't know I had it in here. So I love it. But besides the fallout, this palette is beautiful. It has a nice range of tones. I'm shaking it so the shades that I probably broke on my own, I broke those two shimmer shades because I dropped the palette, are probably all over this palette. And I just don't even want to think. I absolutely love the palette. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think down below and if you guys have tried these palettes out because they have two others, I think, or I have the pink version. Let me know if you guys want me to do a video on the pink one. That one just has more everyday tones to me or in my opinion. So that's why I didn't think I wanted to film with it. I like this palette a lot. It gives me like space to feel creative and to create different looks. I would have never put these two shades together. So I'm really happy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel for more. Let me know if there are any products you'd like me to review and I will. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!